you, you guys. No joke, I just felt something crawling in my shorts. It touched my butt. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Fan, I find a gigantic bug in my shorts, try to find the spiritual meaning so I can sleep at night, and cause hashtag Sedona Vortex, and then cry into my Taco Bell and eat my feelings. Subscribe for daily videos. It's another beautiful morning in Sedona, Arizona. You, you, you don't believe me. Okay. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll show you. It was pastel skies a second ago. It was so pretty. And then I actually woke up at 5 o'clock a.m. this morning, so there was a little bit of like a pastel sunrise. It was really pretty. Just enjoying this cool breeze. It's been really hot here in Sedona. It's supposed to cool off a little bit today, but... I'm gonna make a coffee and meditate and do some journal writing. I've been loving starting off my days a little slower and making sure I really savor the days where there's like perfect weather and a beautiful view because that's not always the case. The air is nice and crisp. It's really calm out here. I feel like it's just a good time to do some writing. I'm gonna cozy up for a little bit. And just like that, I'm second guessing bringing this blanket. It matches my pillows. Leave me alone. I brought this oversized poncho for a reason. Today might be a going to a crystal shop kind of day. That's the vibe I'm getting from this morning. I got my candle and my coffee and I'm just about to write in my journal. I only have a few pages left in my journal and it is the best feeling getting a freshy freshy. Oh yes. Hello to you too. Am I the only one that darks out about stuff like that? I think I am. Okay, first of all, lifesaver. This little $12 USB fan has come in so handy. I just put it right on my face at night. Not only does it keep me a little more cool, but the white noise kind of drowns out the highway or any cars driving by. Check out my collection though. I can't decide which one's my favorite. This one's so basic, but it's so pretty. I love it. I love my little geode. I gave the other half to this little girl, but check out this one they're all just so pretty i can't even anyway this is my stone collection this one's wild like i don't know which side i like better so cool i wrote down all the names for these when i bought them so they're somewhere this one was by far the most expensive and i'm not really sure why does anybody know what this is it's like lupus lousy something like that i don't know exactly the names oh they're so cool it just puts me in a good mood does so everybody sit around and write in their journal with their crystals and their candles every morning hashtag relatable prefer to frequent local coffee shops and support them but as we found out yesterday the internet is a little shoddy and I ended up going to Starbucks anyway we're just gonna go to Starbucks tried and true oh man everything around here is drive through only and I would just park out here and use the internet and drive through and get a coffee but Mac is too tall to get to the drive through so or is he yeah, he is. Yeah, so I just called them and they said I can't pick it up anywhere. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I guess we are going to a little mom and pa shop. Okay, well this is way better. Outdoor seating with a view. And I guess they serve Starbucks coffee. Score. Okay, so I love this. We've got a perfect little spot here on the patio area. And there's one outlet over here in the corner. So gonna take advantage of that. So this is Starbucks Cafe. They serve Starbucks coffee. The only thing is there's such a long line in there. I'm tempted to go grab my Keurig and just plug it in right there. But Dan, this view. Okay, this is my new edit spot. This is my new office while in Sedona. Thank you. And just like that, I'm back at Starbucks uploading. The internet was not ideal up there. It was gonna take about three hours to upload my video, so. Just in the Starbucks parking lot, getting ready. And there's a pretty sweet view. So instead of sitting there for three hours at that coffee shop doing nothing, I decided to come get ready and make use of my time. You guys will not believe what just happened. I feel like a disgusting human being. Like I feel like my life has forever changed. I will never be the same person again. I touched something. I was sitting there in the coffee shop and I felt something like squirming down toward the bottom of my butt cheek. It's like right outside my underwear. And I was like, ooh, did a leaf blow in my shorts? No. 
No, a leaf did not blow in my shorts. I reach my hand down on my shorts like so, and I feel something move. Ew, you guys, no joke. I just felt something crawling in my shorts. My shorts are like pretty big, and it was like crawling on my butt. Look, it was inside my shorts. Ew. So gross. Good. There was a freaking cockroach in my freaking shorts. It touched my butt. She touched my leg. I must have fallen from the ceiling. That is disgusting. I'm burning these undies tonight. I'm burning these Daisy Dukes. <sighs> I feel violated, but it touched my butt. It touched my hand. I'm disgusted. However, don't animals, including cockroaches, have some like spiritual meaning to them? Since I had a f***ing cockroach in my pants, I'm going to see if there's some kind of meaning to them so I can feel a little better about myself. I feel nasty. In general, like the salmon, cockroach symbolism says that you can triumph over the challenges you face. When this insect crawls into your life, it teaches you that regardless of how bad you think a situation is gone, things can still get better. Cockroach represents resilience and survival. Thus, the spirit animal inspires you to find a way to adapt and cope in an unpleasant situation. Cockroaches can sneak into a place through the smallest openings, and so they bring this message that you should utilize every opportunity life offers you. This creature is likely to come to you if you've been hiding your true self from others. Oh, well. Cockroach meaning encourages you to get into the light and let people see the authentic you. It teaches you to commune with others. In other words, this spirit animal tells you to share your ideas and perspectives with friends and colleagues. There's a problem in your life. This power animal also says that you should talk to someone about it. Additionally, the cockroach warns you to watch what you eat. Dang cockroach, you teaching me all sorts of crazy shit. Okay, we can feel a little bit better about this. I'm not 100% there yet, but we'll attach that meaning to it, why not? So I can sleep at night. All right, well we're going into this day with resilience. I can overcome any obstacle that I am faced with today. I have no idea where that cockroach could have come from. Maybe it was in that light up there and like fell into my shorts. Like, how did it get in there? This is so disgusting. I'm a monster. But speaking of other good luck omens, yesterday I went hiking. I met some new friends and we ran into a deer. Hi, yeah. buddy. Oh, you're so pretty. So pretty. And she said it was a good luck omen. So I looked that up too, and here's what it says. What does it mean to see a deer? Deer represents longevity, abundance, and can be good luck for those who want to start a career as being an influencer. I'm not joking, this is what it says. That's me, I wanna be an influencer. Deer usually shy away from humans, making a deer encounter very special when it happens. A deer represents inner peace, tranquility, gentleness, intuition, graceful action, and self-awareness. Which is so nice to hear, because I was so afraid of a wild boar attacking me on that hike yesterday. And Sedona is like a very spiritual place. I feel at peace, and I feel like really good, and feel like I'm on the right path. Having seen that deer, maybe there's nothing to that but that's the meaning I'm gonna attach to it so we got a cockroach in our shorts and we ran into a deer so this is a journey of resilience self-discovery and becoming an influencer y'all I think it's just funny that that's what it said that's very specific so anyway starting this day off on a good note getting back on that bandana train yesterday was mustard yellow today is forest green and speaking of that hike I got very very lost yesterday so we're gonna go back and find the subway hike it's on the Boynton Canyon Trail but I missed the turn up to the subway hike so we're gonna try again today I was gonna wait for my friend Kyle but he went down to Tucson so we're hiking solo today. It also says that cockroaches are attracted to dirty nasty old houses and apartments. So it either means I'm resilient and I'm a survivor or I got a nasty ass crack one of the two. We're gonna go with the survivor one. Yeah let's go with the survivor one. All right all ready to go for the day. I want to go catch a hike. It's about three o'clock. It's not the ideal time of day to go on a hike just because of the weather, but it's pretty shaded most of the way. And I want to be done in time to go to the gym because I need a shower. I'm going to try out Planet Fitness and they close a date. So we're going to hike, maybe lift some weights for a little bit and then take a shower. It's been three days. Ooh, remind me to keep my arms down. It's a little bit prickly under there. Right, we need to get into drive mode. Got to lasso our lasso. I do have a bunch of repairs. I'm going to make on the van. I just am waiting to get that YouTube AdSense revenue. That happens about, what is today? Anyone? Today's the ninth. 
29th and I get paid on the 23rd. So It'll be a couple of weeks before I fix some stuff. Oh wait, before we go, I saw some garbage outside. I'm gonna go pick it up. It's driving me nuts. Like, I mean, it's annoying to have garbage anywhere, but especially in such a beautiful place. So today I'm gonna be mindful of that and I'll find five pieces of trash at least and throw it away. Speaking of trash, I need to throw my trash away and clean out some dishes. Oof, salad bowls. Salad bowls are the worst. Maybe I should just use paper plates for my salad from now on. Do they have salad sized bowls made out of paper? That would be ideal. All right, let's go pick up some trash. That's like a full bottle of creamer. That must have been an accidental littering situation. Yeah. Okay, now we're ready to hike. Oh no. Well, forgot to latch the desk, so that's fun. I'm never gonna get it right. Never. We're gonna make a little pit stop because my favorite thing lately is opening up an ice cold booch after my hike. It can be like a coconut and lime type of thing. That is ideal. What gas station would have? Try the Speedway gas station. Oh, crystal magic. Should we get a psychic reading? Well, there's no booch, but there it is. Blueberry pomegranate sparkling water. All right, we're getting fueled up. Let's hit the road. So this is turning into about an hour long vlog. So I'm gonna split this up into two videos. I'm gonna show you the hike in tomorrow's video, but here's some footage from last week that I really didn't wanna share. It's really personal and I feel weird about it, but it's also kind of hilarious looking back on it. I just want you to know I have fully recovered. Life is good. I've got a full tank of gas and all is well in the world. But here's that footage from a few nights ago and check back tomorrow for the hiking footage. Dudes, I am literally walking through the Taco Bell drive-through. Mac over there does not fit and hardly any drive through so I'm just gonna walk through. That's, that's just how it is. Hashtag van life. I know you. Do you talk about what can I get started for you? Hi, can I please get two bean burritos? Add, okay. Um, add sour cream. To both of them? Yes, please. And that's it. It's so odd to me that places like dining rooms aren't open because St. George has been open for over a year. Like we closed for a little bit, but most places have been open pretty much all of COVID. So this is very odd. I mean, kind of fun. There's this thing floating in the sky. What is it? Is it Elon Musk again? It looks like a glow in the dark hot air balloon. Who knows? It's probably a satellite. So tonight's a tough night. I'm just eating Taco Bell in my van and crying. So the main way I've been making money on the road is from doing music lessons. I expected a few people to not do music lessons over the summer, that always happens, but like more than half of my students are doing no Zoom classes and taking the summer off. And I was expecting like a thousand dollars to come in last week. Zero dollars came in last week. So yes, I just bought Taco Bell with a bunch of change and I'm out of gas. I don't have enough gas to get to the place I parked last night without probably being stranded there. So yeah, van life's real fun today. And I taught a lesson today and I'm waiting for that $50 to come in. So I'm just like sitting in my van waiting for a Venmo for $50. And I just texted her, I'm like, hey, I don't usually hound people, but times are tight. Could you go ahead and send that over? I don't know if I'm gonna post this or not, probably not. But maybe, maybe like way after the fact, once I'm good again, I don't want people to feel like weird about it. Anyway, hashtag Ben Live. Just gonna eat my Taco Bell. I hang out in the Taco Bell parking lot until I get my Venmo and can get gas. Plus I owed like 4,000 more than I was expecting in taxes this year. And so that was all my savings. If I do post this, I don't want any money. I don't want any pity, but I do want a few months from now to look back on how far I've come. So as broke as I am, I still got the extra sour cream in my burrito because gotta have sour cream in your bean burrito. The sour cream in this burrito is the only thing that is keeping me hanging on right now. So, so maybe you don't follow your dreams. Just get like a steady eddy job and do the same thing every day for the rest of your life. And don't be like me, kids. And worst of all, I'd walk through the Taco Bell drive through like a goddamn peasant. I pay for these burritos with cash, quarters, dimes, and nickels. This is fun. We're having fun. Oh my God, I just got my Venmo for $50. I can't get gas. 
Oh my God. Whew. I think I can, I think I can. We're good, we're good. Well, we have almost a half a tank of gas. I can turn my AC on. Oh my God, so lovely. <sighs> We made it to our campsite, same place as last night. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, comment hashtag van life. And again, everything's all good. We figured it out. And I hope you'll join me tomorrow for our super fun hike in Sedona. We made it to the subway trail and it's absolutely gorgeous. So we'll see you then.